What's up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizelle and today's video is my long-awaited, updated makeup collection and storage tour. I've actually been getting a lot of requests from you guys asking me to do an updated makeup collection and storage video and yes, I hear you. It just took me a long time because I'm such a perfectionist when it comes to organizing things like but it's finally at a point where I'm happy with how everything is and yeah, I'm excited to show you guys. Disclaimer though, I know I always have to do these. Um, yeah, you guys should know that this is not in any way, shape or form out there for me to brag or show off. I'm not about that life. I'm purely just doing this because you guys requested it and I feel like it would totally be helpful for those of you who are looking for storage solutions for your makeup. Before we get onto the tour, Give this video a thumbs up if you are excited for it or if you do enjoy it. And if you are actually new here, welcome. I hope you'll consider joining the fam and yeah, subscribe so you don't miss a video I post. With that being said, let's get on to the tour. Alrighty guys, let's do this. So, those of you who have seen my beauty room slash office tour, this would all look very familiar to you, but if you haven't, I will leave a link to that so you can check it out. However, we're just going to be focusing on this today. So this is where my makeup lives. This is my makeup collection and storage. As you can see, it does consist of two Alex 9 drawers on either side of a Marlon dressing table. All of the pieces are from Ikea, which I know everybody and their mother does have a setup like this if not very similar or the same in saying that though it is a great setup in my opinion especially these alex 9 drawers because i feel like they store so much stuff but they take up very little space because everything is stacked on top of one another so i just feel like it's really good for storing makeup so first things first the rug is of course from kmart and the stool a lot of you guys ask me about the stool this stool is actually from homart which is like an old furniture store that no longer exists I don't know where you can actually get a stool exactly like this But I'm sure if you look it up on eBay or something like just type in vanity stool or something like that You can find something very similar. I also just want to say that I typically don't have these softbox lights set up They're there just for the purpose of this video so that we can actually see what we're looking at <laughs> If we move in closer, I think I'm gonna start with the vanity I'm so lucky and blessed and thankful to have a setup like like this. I never thought I would have something like this in my wildest dreams and it's just crazy to me that I'm able to have something as beautiful as this. I know it's not like anything extravagant but I'm just very very lucky and I'm very thankful and grateful to have a vanity set up like this. Like I'm just no words guys, no words. Yeah the table as I said is the IKEA mom dressing table. I love that it comes with this glass top because it makes cleaning it so easy. The table itself I probably wouldn't recommend because in terms of storage the drawer does not pull out all the way. I did get CJ to adjust it so it does pull out a little bit more than it does when you actually buy it but this is the most that we could get it to pull out. On top of my vanity I obviously have a mirror. If you guys are wondering this mirror is from Kmart. 30 bucks. Such a good deal because it's so pretty and it's massive. Like it's a huge mirror. I often get a lot of questions from you guys about this. This light right here is actually just a fluorescent tube light which I bought years ago from Bunnings. If I can find the exact model of this one I will link it for you guys down below. And I did recently get these. This is like LED lighting that you can customize to fit any mirror that you want. You just got to cut it and then strip the wire. I totally wouldn't recommend it though because I mean it's very blue toned. Like can you guys see that? So like it looks pretty, it's aesthetically pleasing I guess, but when it comes to putting makeup on it's not very ideal. One of you guys did ask me how I have this leaning so that it's not actually touching the window. So I'm just quickly going to show you guys. CJ actually bolted these like steel pieces onto the back of the dressing table and they kind of stick up to about here. So yeah, as you can see that's how far they come up and basically my mirror just leans against those and um 
yeah, that's how I have my vanity mirror leaning up against the window without it actually being on the window. So for what's on top of my desk, I just like to keep it very minimal. As you can see, I have a mirror over here. This is just one of those little makeup mirrors from Kmart. I actually spray painted it gold though, although I'm not happy with how it turned out. I've been on the hunt for a really nice gold makeup mirror in this finish, but I can't find any. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. On this side, I just have have a frame from Kmart with this inside. This is actually like a card from a Beauty and the Beast range by Megan Hess. These brush holders were actually from Target years ago. They don't actually stock them anymore. So unfortunately, I don't know where you can find them. But as you can see, I just keep my daily brushes in those. So I have like my smaller brushes over here and then my bigger face brushes here. And then these little storage jars I picked up off eBay. If I could find the link, I will leave it down below. I just store like bobby pins and hair ties this is empty because i need to get more q-tips and then cotton rounds going into the drawer now this is where i keep my everyday makeup so i don't always reach into these i typically have everything i need for a daily basis in here so of course i have some baby wipes always got to have those on hand they're good for like cleaning your hands and also cleaning up the desktop once i'm done my deodorant over here i just keep my mascaras that i'm currently using my anastasia dip brow pomade which i use always and my favorite l'oreal brow artist plumper best brow gel ever in here i just have some concealers and this is a color corrector from that the primer that i'm currently using every day is the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. Always gotta have Lucas Paul Paul in it. I have this like everywhere around my house. These are all the compacts I use on a daily basis. So I've got my Astralis Banana Powder, Astralis Translucent Powder, MAC Give Me Sun. Always always use this my betty luminizer and also this is what i use on an everyday basis you guys constantly ask me what foundation i wear every day this is it guys the bare minerals original spf foundation and then i have my kat von d shade and light contour palette i use this every day as you can see i do have a couple of dirty sponges because i just used them and i keep like other little bits and pieces here so eye drops my silly sponge this is from the benefit hula bronzer and i actually really like using it to contour my face with and then of course my bedazzled tart lash color so that's pretty much it for the actual vanity portion now we're going to go on to the storage so we'll start over on this side so on top of this particular one i keep my brushes these pots were from ikea they're like two dollars each and they're really good for storing makeup brushes in just throw some rice in there and you're good to go so i've got a bunch of different brands i have Sigma, Real Techniques. I'm pretty sure this, I can't remember, these are like Jessup brushes. Jessup brushes, yep. I got these off eBay to try out the oval brush thing when that was like a big thing. More Sigma brushes and like Models Prefer, miscellaneous brushes, that kind of thing. And then all of my Zoeva eye brushes here. I love these, as you can see. They are dirty because I just used them. This thing is actually a placemat from Kmart. Little things like this. I don't know why. I just like things like that. And then I have my acrylic tissue holder. I got this from Aldi. So that is what's on top. And now we're going to go into the storage. So this first drawer is where I keep all of my traditional lipstick bullets. To be honest, I don't really buy lipsticks like these anymore because I feel like most brands these days are coming out with lip creams or liquid lipsticks, that kind of thing. Like these aren't a very big thing, at least for the time being. However, I still do have a fairly healthy collection. So I've got my MAC ones over here, some Sleek, Essence, L'Oreal, yes, L'Oreal, oh no, Maybelline, sorry, Maybelline, uh, Revlon, L'Oreal, Rimmel, I actually really love these Rimmel ones, these ones are so pretty, the packaging is beautiful, and this one in particular, Nude Delight, was like one of my first ever nude lipsticks, not this particular one, but back in the day I bought one, and it was my first ever nude lipstick, and that is what started the whole nude lipstick obsession for me. I've also got a bunch of NYX Rand lipsticks, some Revlon, and of course some Chi Chi. I love these Chi Chi lipsticks. I think they're amazing. If you guys are wondering where I got this divider, this is actually from Daiso. You pretty much can customize these drawer dividers to be any size that you want. So I've kind of just 
cut them off here because obviously I don't need any more than that and besides this is as far as the drawer comes out so yeah that's pretty much what that drawer is the next drawer is where the good stuff begins so this houses all of my like liquid lipsticks lip glosses these are like lip crayons and pencils remember when OCC lip tars were all the rage well I obviously didn't have money at the time to buy those because they were a little bit expensive so I opted for these sleek ones and I had a lot of fun with being able to custom create the like lip colors that I wanted that was really fun so I still have those. I have a bunch of savvy, like their little sample mini ones from a Christmas collection. I have these bad boys. Like, look at these. Okay, aren't these beautiful? These are the Jouer lip toppers. I love these. I recently got them and I'm obsessed, especially with the middle one, skinny dip. So this is pretty much where all of my lip glosses live. I've got some Astralis, Ulta 3, Essence, L'Oreal, Rimmel, that kind of thing. And in this one, I have liquid lipsticks. I have all of my NYX lip lingerie liquid lipsticks. I actually have the entire collection. If you want to see a lip swatch video, comment down below and let me know. I have some Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. This Stila liquid lipstick is one of my favorite reds because the formula is amazing and the red is just perfect. Some Savvy liquid lipsticks and Chi Chi underneath there. Also, these storage containers that I have throughout all my drawers, you will see them in pretty much every single one of my drawers, were from either Howard storage world or big w bear in mind though that they do get expensive when you buy a heap so i'd say that i probably spent a fair bit of money just on like the organization of my makeup collection but i don't know i'm very much like that like i just i'm very particular when it comes to organizing things next drawer we have some more lip products so i've got this sigma lip concealer that they actually sent out to me a while ago these are all my lip pencils so i've got a bunch of brands i have one mac one <laughs> a lot of essence rimmel chi chi nyx that kind of thing as you can see i really like nudes like i've got a lot of nude lip liners in there these ones are from models prefer they're from the samantha jade collection that she recently released i have some of my gerard cosmetics color your smile lip glosses and also all of my ColourPop liquid lipsticks here in this container i have all of my dose of colors lip products which i love and then in the front i have my nyx soft matte lip creams and butter glosses i have a bunch of different shades going on in there and then over here i have some of the gerard cosmetics metals i believe they're called yeah the metal mattes liquid lip products which i love i especially love that middle shade underworld i also have my astralis full lips lip creams and then i just have my Too faced melted matte liquid lipsticks here as you can see i'm very much a nude neutrals kind of girl so onto this next drawer now we have the beginning of some eye products so in this little tub here i have my liner pencils my pencil eyeliners i should say i've got a few from essence Mi uh, Rimmel. In this one, I keep my liquid liner pens and felt up liners, things like that, as well as my gel eyeliners. I love the Inglot gel liner in number 77. This has been my fave lately, as well as my NYX matte liners. I love these. Oops. In this little tub here, I keep some tools because it's easy for me to just quickly reach over and grab if I need them. So I've got some tweezers, scissors, sharpeners, lash curlers, that kind of thing. And then I have all of my eye primers and bases. This actually isn't one though, so I can go back over there. So I've got my MAC paint pot in Soft Ochre, the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden, my NYX Eyeshadow Base, which I think is awesome and is definitely a dupe for this. I feel like these are very similar. In this one here, I'm going to have to take some of these out so you, I can slide these forward and you can see them properly. But in this one here, I keep all of my brow products. I've got some like brow kits, which is what I pretty much started off with. My models prefer one was my favorite as well as the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I feel like this is really good for the price. I have the Ardell brow pomade which i did try i don't think it's as good as this though this is the chi chi brow pomade which i love and i have a couple of brow pencils because over the years i have tried to make things work with brow pencils but i can't seem to find one that works for me and that i actually like so if you have any suggestions let me know and then just at the back here i keep some extra mascaras for the most part haven't opened some of these some of them i have opened and i need to throw out i just haven't got around to it but a lot of these are just like 
extra little mascaras that I keep. Don't ask why I have so many. I really shouldn't, but yeah, I do have backups of mascaras that I love. So that's that to draw. On to the next one, we have some palettes. So I keep these palettes in here because they don't actually fit in the drawer that I keep all of my other palettes in, which you will see in a moment. So I have the Z palette full of makeup geek shadows that I recently got. TJ actually got me a bunch of these for my birthday, so I'm so thankful to him for getting these for me. I love them. And then these are some of the foiled Makeup Geek eyeshadows that I do have. And then, of course, I have my current favorite, the Violet Voss Rider Dye Palette. I mean, the packaging, can you die? <laughs> and then inside, this is what we're looking at. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. And then I have a bunch of miscellaneous palettes in here. This is actually my first ever palette was the Manly 180 eyeshadow palette. Oh my goodness, this is like memories right here. Back in the day, I actually don't use this at all because it's very, very old, but I keep it for sentimental value. So back in the day, I remember everybody had this palette and I used to follow along tutorials with this palette and I absolutely loved it. So I've also got my Morphe palettes under here. So the Morphe 9N blush palette and my 350, which I love. And also I do have the 35P. Yes, the 35P is what this one is called. And then, oops, this drawer is open because one of the palettes must be like clinging onto this front drawer, if that makes sense. But as you can see, these are all of my smaller palettes in here. This is probably one of my favorite drawers because it's organized so well and it has a lot of my favorite products in it. So for those of you who are wondering where I got this from, this is actually from an Australian online store that sells makeup storage solutions, particularly for the IKEA Alley. Alex drawers so I will leave a link to them down below I got this to use to divide all my palettes up and I feel like it works amazingly it keeps everything in check and I can fully see what I've got so let's start at the front here I got this models prefer nude eyeshadow palette my Too Faced chocolate bar palette my cousin actually got this for me for Christmas a couple of years ago and I love it and then of course I've got the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette like who doesn't love it then I've got my two Anastasia palettes, the Master Palette by Mario, and of course the Modern Renaissance, beautiful. <laughs> I also have this Zoeva Rose Golden palette, which I love the shadows in this, especially that rose golden one right there. And this one here is like a two-tone, which I love. This is the Tartlet in Bloom palette, which is just a great everyday neutrals kind of palette. And then, of course, I got my girl Jacqueline Hill's Becca Collaboration Face palette. Let me, let me get this open because it deserves a moment, so. I actually haven't used this much. For me, I bought this purely because like, it was a Jaclyn Hill thing and I was like, gotta support my girl, like definitely gotta get it. So I actually haven't used this as much as I probably should have, but nonetheless, I do love the blushes and highlighters that it has. And then of course I have my beloved Violet Voss eyeshadow palettes, the Holy Grail and the Drenched Metals. At the back, I have a couple of Astralis Bronzide palettes. Can we just, like, this one has been to town. I've definitely used this one. And then this one, I mean, it's beautiful. If, if I had to recommend any Violet Voss palette to get, the Holy Grail one would definitely be it. So underneath that, I just keep a bunch of, like, random extra products. So I've got some face wipes, micellar water, face masks. What's this? My Ruakitane booklet. I keep these just in case these are amazing if you have blemishes and you want them to go away overnight this will be your best friend honestly i've got some brush cleaner more deodorants as i said face masks that kind of thing this is just like a messy drawer and then underneath i you guys are gonna think i'm so weird but this is just packaging <laughs> So I have a thing where I just like to keep packaging. I don't know why, like don't ask me why, like I keep it. And then sometimes I'll go in here and I'll like kind of cull through it and then throw things out. I don't know why I keep things. This isn't too bad guys, like this isn't too bad. I'm, I know I'm a bit of a hoarder, but this isn't too bad. So this is purely packaging and it's interesting because I look at this and I'm just like, wow, I have bought like so much stuff and I never realize it until I actually look at the packaging and I'm just like, dang girl, like you got a problem. <laughs> but yeah, that's my packaging drawer and then underneath I have some more like random products bits and pieces so I've got some Chi Chi BB creams these are all like samples and stuff more samples so I keep these in here and whenever I feel like trying something new I'll just come into this drawer and see what 
I got. Alrighty, so we're done with the first tower. On to the next one. Honestly, thumbs up this video if you're still here watching this because I know this is going to be a long one. But on top of this, I have another one of those Kmart mats. This vase is actually from Target a long time ago, so I don't think it's still available. And in it, I just put a bunch of faux hydrangeas because these are actually one of my favorite flowers. I have another one of those frames from Kmart with just a random little print in it. This is my House of Lashes lash case. Of course, there's no lashes inside. Usually, I do keep them in there, but they're all kind of hiding in their safe spots around the house at the moment. And then just for decor purposes, I have a couple of the Megan Hess books. Okay, so first of all, let's see what's inside. We have foundations. Yes, I do have a lot of foundations, but bear in mind, I buy a lot of foundations just because I like testing them out. I love doing first impressions videos. I have a ton on my channel on a lot of these foundations. If you guys are interested in checking those out, I probably have a first impression for it. So I've got a bunch of different brands from drugstore to high end. I love the Too Faced, not Too Faced, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. This stuff is amazing. Another one that I love, if you guys watch my channel all the time, then you know how much I ramble on about this. The Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. Good stuff, definitely worth the splurge. I also really love the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. It's super full coverage and really inexpensive. And then I've got a bunch of just like Rimmel, L'Oreal. This is probably one of my first ever foundations that I tried. Not this particular one, but you know what I mean. Maybelline and a couple of... Um, Chi Chi ones at the back, which are also very good. I have to do a first impressions on this. This is the It's Cosmetics CC Cream. And then I have a couple of the EX1 foundations that I've been meaning to do first impressions on, but I can't seem to get my right shade. So I'm still working on finding the perfect shade for me before I do a first impression. This one is one that I recently did a first impressions on. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and also the Too Faced Born This Way. So that is what is in the top draw onto this next draw now we have some more face products i've got all of my concealers here i have a bunch again from drugstore to high end so we've got the Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. I love these, but I definitely want to get more shades because I feel like this could be a tad bit too light for me. The Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer as well. If you're looking for an inexpensive concealer that gives you amazing coverage and stays all day long, this is it. And then I have some color correctors here. I've got the Bobbi Brown. I actually need to buy another one of these because I'm pretty sure this one is almost empty. Maybelline. Natio Red Earth. That's a Red Earth correcting kit down the bottom. And a couple more of the MAC Prep and Prime pens. I have these in different shades. Then I have my RCMA no color powder just chilling in here because it actually won't fit where I keep all of my powders. As you can see, I've got a bunch of different ones. The Laura Mercier translucent powder is always good. I've got a backup of the Australis banana powder just in case. The Australis fresh and flawless. Models prefer L'Oreal, Maybelline, Rimmel, MAC, all that kind of thing. And then at the back, I have my primers. So I've got the NYX Angel Veil, Maybelline, baby skin which is pretty much similar to the benefit professional the face of australia face base primer mark jacobs remarkable see you later pause by australis and somewhere under there is my infallible onto the next drawer now this is probably one of my favorite drawers because this is where all of my highlighters and blushes live so where do we begin okay at the front here i have my jouet this is the only jouet highlighter that i have and i think I definitely want to pick up one of the others, Topaz. This is in the one Citrine, like, oh. It's so intense. I have two of the Laura Geller highlighters. You can totally tell which one I've been loving more. Yielded Honey for sure. <laughs> totally rhyming today. And then I've got my two sleek highlighter palettes, which I love. And my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea highlighter trio. Really pretty. Then we've got these single compacts of highlighters. So I've got MAC O oh Darling. This is actually being released again. So if you guys can get your hands on it, I totally recommend for you to because it's amazing. The Mecca Cosmetica highlighter. A couple of the Becca highlighters. This was my first ever highlighter, guys. MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And also Mary Luminizer. How can I forget? One of the OGs. I've got a couple of the Models Prefer Soft Touch 
mineral powders because I heard that they were very comparable to the hourglass powders and then at the back I've got my Laura Mercier indiscretion highlighter in this little tub at the back I keep my blushes so I've got a couple of NARS, Tarte, Inglot, Sleek I also have a couple of like really old um, BYS blushes and Face of Australia blushes because that is what started my kit and that is all I could afford back in the day so sentimental <laughs> things right here. I then got some liquid highlighters here. I love the Face of Australia Mineral Therapy Illuminator. Great stuff. L'Oreal Lumi Magique Pure Light Primer. And then I've got some more blushes up the back here. This is my current favorite, the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. And I have a couple of the Max Factor Baked Blushes, as well as some Maybelline Essence, all that kind of stuff back there. In this drawer, I keep all of my bronzers and also my setting sprays and like I have a random brush cleaner here just because it's right next to my desk where I sit so it's easy for me to quickly grab but in this compartment as I said I have my bronzers and just a couple of I don't know what this is doing in here but this is the Samantha Jade highlighting kit I haven't used it yet I've also got the AC on tour contouring and highlighting kit from Astralis the matte powder one and also the cream ones this is actually a Maybelline foundation that I use as a contouring like a cream contour this is the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Care by Chloe Morello. This was my first ever high-end bronzer that I got you guys. The NARS Bronzer in Casino. As you can see, it's been well loved. I also have my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel Cream Bronzer. The Milani Baked Bronzer. And also my current favorite, guys. Oh my goodness, I just got this and used it today. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Amazing stuff. And then I've got my Hula Benefit, Bahama Mama by the Balm, some models prefer Tarte and Sleek. Then in the next drawer, we've got some like little eyeshadow things. So these are like all of my little eyeshadow compacts. I have some from Revlon, Chi Chi, Models Prefer, Essence, Savvy. And then I keep my glitters here. So I've got my liquid sugar from Eye Candy Cosmetics and then all of my loose glitters. So I've developed a little healthy collection, which I'm so excited to do looks with these. Like I'm really excited to do looks with those. I'm just finding the time to. So all these mini ones are by Eye Candy Cosmetics and then these bigger ones are from Violet Voss. I've also got a couple of the L'Oreal Color Infallible Pressed Pigment Eyeshadows. And then at the back here, I keep some little eyeshadow quads. This was actually my first ever, you guys, like first ever eyeshadow quad that I ever bought. This is from Modelista. I don't even think that's a brand anymore, but I keep this again for sentimental value. And then I have this one here from Illamasqua that I have not dipped into yet because I got that from my advent calendar for Christmas. I have a bunch of like pencil crayon eyeshadows here. So the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils and some from Models Prefer as well. And then these are actually all of my like cream shadow bases that come in pots so i've got some of the astralis metallics eyeshadow bases but you can wear these alone and then i've got a heap of the face of australia ones as well as the maybelline color tattoos just underneath that drawer i have another palette drawer this one is filled with more like drugstore things so i've got a bunch of the chi chi eyeshadow palettes i love these i think they're for the price. I've got a Violet Voss highlighting trio. This is my first ever high-end eyeshadow palette and CJ actually got it for me as a random surprise when we first started dating. This is the Stila in the Light eyeshadow palette. I've also got the Lorac Pro eyeshadow palette, which I love. The NYX highlighting and contour pro palette. A couple of sleek eyeshadow palettes. The Anastasia Ultimate Glow Kit, which I haven't got as much use out of as I thought I would because it is very chunky in pigmentation, which I was not expecting, but I still think it's beautiful. And this is the Sweets Glow Kit, which I love because it's so unique, guys. I just love the shades in this. I also have a Chi Chi highlighting and contouring palette, and then just a couple of extra little palettes at the back. This one that looks like an envelope was actually sent to me by Sigma, and then this one is just a random benefit boxed eyeshadow palette. Next drawer is my lash drawer. So I keep them in these. These are actually from Kmart. They're just, they're actually stackable containers, but I find that they 
fit really well in here and they're good for storing lashes in so at the back I've just got some individual lashes and these like lash containers that I got from Daiso and as for lashes I've got a bunch of different brands you guys know that I love the Ardell Wispies these are my favorite these are like a bunch of miscellaneous brands of lashes I have some Red Cherry Coca Lashes, which are my faves, and also some House of Lashes Lashes, as well as some Socialize Lashes, which I love. And then in here, I just keep my lash glues and whatnot. Below my lash drawer, we've got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. So I have a couple of makeup bags. I do have some colored contact lenses and I keep them in here so they don't dry out too quickly. These are from the brand Desio, which I love. And then, of course, you guys know my obsession with headbands. And then, you guys, the last drawer. Yes, we made it. This is where I keep my nail polishes, which I don't really use anymore. I did actually declutter this not long ago and get rid of a heap. I think for the rest of them I'm just going to ask my mom or some other people if they want them because to be honest I don't really use um, traditional nail polishes like this. I only really use them to paint my um, toenails. I hate that word toenails like it just sounds so nasty. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really use traditional nail polishes like these. I only really go for gel nail polishes, which is what you will see on my nails most of the time. Excuse that ring around my middle finger. I had a allergic reaction to something, I don't know. But anyways, besides the point, yes, I don't really use much of these anymore, but I still keep all of them down here. So I have, as I said, all of my traditional nail polishes at the back, and then I've got all of my gels here. I don't know what this cream is doing here, but you can just stay there. And then I've got some other like extra tools and some backups of the um, gel nail polishes that I use. Some acetone and just extra little bits and pieces. So I've got these little beads when that was like all the rage, like caviar nails, glitters, and just other press-on nails that I got as samples and things like that. Yeah, that is what is in the last drawer. So that's it, you guys. We made it. Thumbs up if you are still here with me watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> I'm so out of breath, guys, but I'm glad I was finally able to show you all my makeup collection and storage. Alrighty, guys, that is the end of my makeup collection and storage video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. As always, I will list as much as I can down below in terms of furniture pieces, storage pieces, and whatnot. If there is anything that you guys want to know about, don't hesitate to comment down below. I'll reply to you guys ASAP. I love chatting to you guys down in the comments. If there's something that you need to know ASAP though, best contact me on Twitter because I'm always on my phone. So yeah, you can find all the links to my social media accounts such as Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat down below. And with all that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy. The pain.